Hello folks and welcome back to the Relaxing Woodshop. My name is David. My name is Christopher. I'd like to give a big shout out to everyone who's continued to support us through the YouTube videos. Keep the likes and subscribes coming in guys. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, now, this week uh, we were planning on doing something but we ended up changing to something else. And the reason being, yesterday afternoon in the post I received a 50 caliber bullet bottle stopper kit. So when you get that in the post, you have to do it, don't you? Yep. So, without further ado, we're going to get stuck right in. Yeah, man. I'll train the double in the catch here. Oh, hold on, wait, was that not tomorrow? Nope, today. Well, looks like it's just me and you. Now that Chris has cleared off, I will actually go through the ingredients with you here. So in the kit itself, we have the replica style 50 caliber bullet. We have the screw that goes into that part and then the screw that goes into the wood itself. The wood itself, I have selected this from our um, stock. Now, I'm not too sure the name of the wood. There's a beautiful, beautiful grain through it, so I will get the name of that wood uh, for next week. Then I'm gonna use one of my drill bits, the Allen key, and I've decided to get a wee pin here, and I'll show you what that's for at the very end. So that's, that's the kit. It's not gonna be a long video this week. We'll just enjoy what we're doing. We've set the wood into the stock and brought the far stock then over. So what we'll do is, as I always say in the wood turning bit, this is the wee boring bit, but we're gonna turn it into the cylinder and then we'll get into the exciting part. cylinder I put an extra wee chamfer just at the, the, the top end there where the bullet bit's going to go in uh, so what I want to do now is at the back end of it is get the shape of where the bullet would actually have a wee indentation before the back of it uh, obviously I'm not going to be able to write 50 caliber into the wood uh, but we'll be able to then tidy up the back of it as well so we're going to make a wee mark just about here and then again there and that'll give us so that's the bullet itself and that'll give us the base uh, of the back as well. Okay folks, now we have the uh, casing of the bullet all done and we've just chamfered the back of it there to make it look good. Now we have the running centre, we're going to remove it, uh, so we are, and then replace it with the chuck, with the drill bit. And the reason now that we're going to be doing that is so that we can then accept the screw into the bullet itself, along with the Allen key, so we are there. So what we're going to do now is line this up, and then we'll get drilling through. Ready? Okay guys, when your wood turn, remember, slow and easy wins the race. Nice and slow. These are beautiful, beautiful drill bits and they get a, make it very, very light work of the wood. And now we're ready to accept the screw. Okay guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to insert the large screw bit into it. So what I've done, I've just ever, ever so slightly tapped it with the hammer uh, just to get the centre and then we'll get the large Allen key. Now the Allen key doesn't come with the kit so make sure you have a, a large Allen key handy. And then we'll just catch that thread and then gently bring it, tighten it up. Now do remember to lock your chuck and we're just bringing this in slowly. 
This is always a bit where I always get nervous when you get to the towards the very end and you end up doing something silly. There we go. Let's get the casing cut off. Well guys, I think that turned out absolutely brilliant. As you can see from the wee indentation all the way up the casing and then as it curves in then to meet the, the, the copper head of the, the bullet, that's a cracker one, really is. So guys, thank you very, very much for joining us again at the Relaxing Wood Shop. We look forward to seeing you next week, hopefully for a very special edition where we are on tour. Uh, so we look forward to seeing you then.